Hi there, students. Theory, theorem, hypothesis, postulate, corollary, and axiom. Okay, so, a theory. A theory is a way to explain something. An idea used to explain why something happens are based on general principles and these general principles are not related to the thing you are looking at. Okay, so a theory. Um, a theorem is a theory that is proved to be true. Now, I have a problem with this because I always thought that you can never prove anything is true. You can only disprove it. So, to me, when does a theory become a theorem? And I guess the theorem is a rule or law that is accepted as true, that people don't feel they need to prove that it's true. I think a theory is much more general, yeah, and it's not necessary to uh, explain a theorem, but a theory, maybe it's true, maybe it's not. It's shown to be true, but maybe there are still doubts. Okay, so maybe it's a question of acceptance. Notice a, th a theory, um, theoretical is the adjective, um, theoretically the uh, adverb, yeah? Okay, and the verb to theorize. A theory can also be used to mean the guiding principles to do something. So we learned about the theory of teaching. Uh, the theory says you should do it like this. Yeah, so these are guiding principles. Um, I prefer practical things to theoretical things. Yeah? Theoretical, when you're thinking about it in the mind and why, whereas practical, hands-on. So, a theory and a theorem. A theory is a way to explain something that is based on general principles, whereas a theorem is a theory that has proved to be true or that is accepted generally as true. Okay, a, a, a hypothesis. Okay, a hypothesis is a suggestion as to why something happens. Probably based on limited evidence, but not assumed to be true. So maybe it's true, maybe it's not true. And I think you use a hypothesis to build a theory. And then you prove your theory, and that becomes a theorem. But with a hypothesis, it's important to remember that you are not assuming it's true. It's just a suggestion, yeah? You use the evidence that you can see around you, but you haven't tested it in all cases. Okay, to hypothesize is the verb and hypothetical the adjective okay so yeah a hypothesis a suggestion as to why a postulate postulate is where you assume something is true as a basis for discussion or thinking or reason so let us postulate that uh, the earth is flat. Let us imagine this is true, 
um, and then talk about the consequences of it. Okay. Um, the next word, a corollary. Corollary. This comes from the word to correlate, a correlation. Okay, a corollary is something that comes from something else that is proved true. A result of something that you can show easily by showing something else is true. We can use this word corollary to mean a consequence of a result of yeah and then the last one an axiom an axiom is something that is accepted as true it's an accepted obvious truth that everyone believes is true okay something that is self-evident yeah something that it's just obvious that it's like that so let, let's look at a few examples okay we have Pythagoras's theorem okay this is something that is proved to be true and everybody accepts it yeah it's about uh, right angle triangles I always wonder why it's the theory of relativity, not the theorem of relativity, but the theory of relativity. Why isn't it a theorem? Because I think people generally accept this nowadays. Notice with a theory, I have a theory why uh, he is late every day. Yeah, is an easy example. Okay, a hypothesis you use to make a suggestion as to why. So, it's my hypothesis that he's late every day because he goes to bed very late and he oversleeps. Okay, a postulate, something that we assume is true for the sake of discussion. Yeah? So, yeah. Um, people thought the Earth was flat until it was postulated that the Earth was a sphere. Yeah? Corollary. Okay. One thing that logically comes from another. A consequence of. So you know the phrase, I think, therefore I am. Uh, I am is a corollary of the statement, I think. If the Earth is flat, then a corollary of the Earth being flat is you will fall off the edge. Okay? An axiom, something that everybody assumes is true. So, for example, something can either be true or false. This is an axiom. It can't be true or fo or fo and false at the same time. So it's obvious to people that things can either be true or false. Mind you, Schrodinger's cat certainly uh, uh, puts uh, the spanner in the works with that axiom. Newton's laws of motion are an axiom. You can see them, they're obvious. The harder you push, the faster it goes. Okay? Now, let's look at um, the origin of these words. So, theory comes from theoria, Greek. Contemplation, thinking about something. Theorem comes from Greek, theorema speculation about something yeah you're speculating maybe this is true a hypothesis okay hypo under and thesis placing placed under I'm not quite so sure 
as to why this one developed. Um, a postulate, to postulate, comes from postulare in Latin, to ask, to ask why. Um, a corollary comes from Latin again, corolla, which is a crown, a garland, to go round someone's head. That one I find strange. Well, maybe the garland is a consequence of uh, winning or doing something wonderful. And then finally, axiom comes from axioma in Greek, what is thought fitting. And I can see how that comes. So, let's see. What about formality? Okay, so a theory. This is a neutral word. You could use it in an informal conversation. You could use it in a formal document. Yeah? It goes everywhere. So it's nice and easy to use. A theory. A way to explain things. Then we have a theorem. I think a theorem is certainly more formal. And in... Uh, only for use in uh, formal writing or something like that. I think informally I just use the word theory. Yes, I know there's a small difference, but as I said, when does a theory become a theorem? How do you prove absolutely that it's true? You can't. Okay, a hypothesis. This sounds slightly formal. Um... I think you could possibly use it in an informal conversation, but I think I would use the word, I suggest, I reckon, yeah? Use hypothesis and hypothesize in more formal writing. A postulate, or to postulate. Um, this again is formal, maybe 6, 6.5 out of 10. I wouldn't use this in uh, an informal conversation. I would probably say, imagine that in, a, an, in a, an informal conversation. For the sake of argument, imagine that, yeah? Whereas to postulate in a more formal document. Notice very often people use postulate more formally to say, I think this is true. I postulate that the reason for this is because they don't have enough money. But remember, it's still slightly formal. Okay. Corollary. A result of, yeah, as a consequence of. This is a really quite a formal word, maybe 7.5 in formality. Um, in informal English, I'd say, a consequence of, consequently. Yeah? Okay, so, um, crime is a consequence of poverty. Informal. Uh, crime is a corollary of poverty. Much, much more formal. Okay, and axiom. An axiom, this is another formal word, 7.5, maybe even 8 out of 10 in formality. An axiom, something that everybody accepts is true. Yeah? So, I don't know, maybe in the past it was an axiom that the earth was flat until somebody postulated that it was round. And then they developed a theory that the earth was a sphere. And I think finally that's become a theorem or the new axiom says the earth is a sphere. Okay? So, a theory, a way to explain things, a more general word. A theorem, an axiomatic theory. A theory that, that is accepted and proven as true. A hypothesis, a suggestion, maybe it's wrong, as to why something happens, why it works like that. To postulate, to assume that something is true, 
um, and then use that as a basis for further uh, discussion or reasoning. A corollary, a consequence of, a direct obvious result of something, and an axiom, something that everybody believes is true. It looks true. It's obvious that it's true. Okay? So, I'm going to stop before I get soaked. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Theory, theorem, hypothesis, postulate, corollary, and axiom. Bye for now.